Okay, pasa mi gente, I did a review of Sid's shirt and for some reason I couldn't find the file, so I'm basically doing another review here. <sighs> Life of a content creator. Anyway, uh, we're gonna listen to it a little bit and then we're just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you what I like, dislike, and the rating. Okay, so I'm tired. So here are the things that I wrote from the last thing. Luckily I kept them in my notebook. So you can actually see them. Hold on. What I was saying was is that I wrote down all the comments that I had on the video anyway. So I'm just going back to those comments. Anyway. So the main things that I liked were that I really like SZA as an artist in general. I mean, the main reason why is because she usually has really great lyrics and really great melodies. She's very versed in, in riffs and singing in general and able to like encapsulate a message, uh, a visual message within her lyrics and stuff like that. So that's awesome. Also, the second thing, is that this song sounds like a song for a club date, you know what I'm saying? Like something that a, a DJ would be playing uh, so people could just like vibe, you know what I'm saying? With like the Henny Pineapple in hand, with you with the shoddy, that sort of feel, you know what I'm saying? You, you see what I'm saying. Anyway, and then uh, the last thing that I liked was that um, the unexpected drum hits, the tuka tuka like literally just, you just heard it. Um, it. It's kind of, it was kind of unexpected, but um, it was nice to hear. Uh, but the only thing that I didn't like was that the the beat behind the lyrics or SZA in general it kind of sounded a bit produced, as in like it just sounded like somebody put like a drum kit designer together and was just like programming the drums together, and there was like no thought in how it sounded. I mean, I'm an instrumentalist. I'm going to produce from the format of trying to make produced sounds sound as real as possible because it's like. More often than not, those are the better tracks, you feel me? So it's like, I'm trying to understand why people would even do a tracks in, in a very plastic or even cringy format. So that was the only thing that I didn't like, but it brought down the score for me. And originally I gave it a 7.5 and I think I'm going to keep it there. But um, if you want me to review more videos like this, like more songs and albums and stuff like that, please DM me on every platform because I have literally everything like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, it doesn't matter. I appreciate the recommendations and I love doing them, especially finding artists that I love that they have new music out anyway. But if you like the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe because I'm trying to put videos out like this every single week, at least I'm trying to, but you don't want to miss them. Thank you for coming to this video and coming to the end here with me. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.